Let us consider the simple position of a square prism resting on the horizontal plane on its base such that one of the base edges is inclined 45 degree to VP. So let us consider this as a square prism. So you imagine that these two sides are having the same dimension. So here, here we have got a base edge, here also we have got a base edge. So in this symbol position, let us consider that one base edge is inclined 45 degree to VP. So let us consider this base edge. So it must be inclined at an angle of 45 degree with respect to the vertical plane. So in the top view vertical plane, it will be along the XY line. So when you are observing from the top, if the base edge is inclined at an angle of 45 degree with respect to the XY line, it means that the base edge is inclined 45 degree with respect to V. So when the solid is resting in this particular condition, you can also tell that these two edges, this base edge and the other base edge, they are equally inclined to VP and this equal inclination is equal to 45 degrees or else you can see that here we are having a rectangular face. So here we are having a rectangular face. On this side also we are having a rectangular face. But when you are observing from the top, you will be able to see only these two edges or these four edges. But Below each of these four edges, we do have a rectangular face. So these faces will be equally inclined to the vertical plane and that inclination is 45 degree. Or else you can call this symbol position as two of the rectangular faces equally inclined to VP. So in all these ways, we can mention the same symbol position. One of the base edge inclined 45 degree to VP two of the base edges equally inclined to VP. Here equal inclination for a square, it is 45 degree. Or one of the rectangular faces inclined 45 degree to VP. Or two of the rectangular faces equally inclined to VP. So let us learn how to draw the symbol position of this kind of a prism. So we have to draw a 45 degree thin line. So let us draw a thin line. So let us assume that the base edge length is 30 mm and height is 70 mm. So let us fit a 30 mm length on this 45 degree incline line. So this is the top view of the square prism. Here base shape is obtained in the top view because the prism is resting on the horizontal plane. Now let us name the solid. So here, when you are observing from the top, you can see four corners, one, two, three, four. And there are four more corners on the base. So we shall mark the visible four corners on the top. Starting from this point, These are the visible corners. Now let us mark the invisible corners when you are observing from the top which are on the base. So as these corners are invisible we shall write it in brackets. Now let us draw the front view. So 
So the height of the prism is 70 mm. So this is the fan view of the prism. Now let us name the prism. So on the top face we are having A, B, C, D. So this is the top face of the prism and it is along this surface we are having A, B, C, D. So this point will be A dash. This will be B dash and D dash. B dash, D dash and here we will be having C dash. So along the base it is A1, B1, C1 and D1. So here this point will be A1, this point will be B1, this point will be C1 and here this point will be D1. I have not drawn a projector here, let us draw a projector also. A1 dash, B1 dash, C1 dash and D1 dash. Now let us check which all points will be invisible when you are observing this solid from the front view. So you consider the top view on the extreme left it is AA1 and on the extreme right it is CC1. When you are joining a straight line connecting the extreme left and extreme right points. So this is that particular straight line. You need not draw a straight line here. So in this case, the points which are between this line and the XY line that is V and V1, they may be invisible in the front view. So in this case, as V and V1 are on the other side of the solid, in the front view, V and V1 will not be visible. So let us write these points in brackets. So V dash in brackets and B1 dash in brackets. So this is the symbol front view and symbol top view of the solid. Now let us dimension the solid. I am writing it here it as square 30 because all the sides of this top view are equal in its dimensions. If this solid is tilted to the right hand side, it will be resting on corner C1, on base corner C1. And if the same solid is tilted to the left hand side, it will be resting on base corner A1. So this is corner A1, this is A1 in the front view and this is C1 in the front view. So this is about this symbol front view and top view. So you can use this symbol position in all these four conditions. If one of the base edges is inclined at an angle of 45 degree to VP or if two of the base edges are equally inclined to VP or one of the rectangular faces inclined 45 degree to VP or two of the rectangular faces equally inclined to VP. If all, if any of these four conditions are mentioned in the question, you can use this kind of a symbol position and you can use this symbol position in the case of solids when it is resting on the corner of its base. So in problems regarding solids which are inclined to one plane or uh, both the planes, if at all it is resting on a base corner, you can, there is a probability that you can start with this kind of a symbol position.